How you guys doing today? Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing how you can set up emulation for your SteamOS devices. So if that's something you guys were interested in, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this video. So to get started, if you want to switch to desktop mode, as you see right here. Next, you just want to open up a browser and you want to just search for emudeck, as you see right here. So if you just go to the website, go to emudeck, you should see the download button here. So we're just going to hit that. You want to scroll down, make sure that you see SteamOS version there. Make sure you click that, hit download for free, and you'll see that it downloads. Once that's done, it's going to be in your Dolphin browser. So again, you go to download, you should see it. Next, you should just bring it to your desktop here. And once you do so, double click it and you should be able to continue, hit continue here and then it should execute and you see it run the script here. So give it a little time, it's going to do a thing. But once you're done with that, it's going to open up any deck like you see right here. Next, you have two modes to choose from here. I like to go to custom mode because I like to customize my stuff. Next, you can choose internal storage here and then choose Steam Deck here. I like to go to the highest because, again, it gives you access to the Steam ROM manager, which I prefer. And here you can just click which emulation that you want. And you'll see I'm going to be showcasing two emulation here, which is the PS3 emulator and also the Nintendo Switch. So I unselect everything else and I just leave those two. Now, if you want any of the others, you can just pick those. Next, do you have an option to configure it? And this is just a control. I'm just hitting next and continue. And then it's going to take some time to just install everything. So once it's done, you see an installation complete. It does say region next didn't install, but it did. I don't know why it's saying X there. But next, I'm going to go to manual here. I'm going to open it up. Again, uh, just skip all of this. Don't click anything, close it all and go to next you don't have to do anything there next we just go into launch steam ROM manager now there's an issue with this when you do launch steam ROM manager it doesn't actually work and i'll showcase how to get that to work uh so as you see i closed it out again and then i open up emmy deck again it's an issue with Emmy Deck that for some reason Steam ROM Manager doesn't open properly, but there's a fix to that, and I'll be showcasing the fix here. So as you can see here, when we open it, you cannot go to next. You actually have to reset it. So if you go here to left to manage emulate and scroll all the way down, you should see the option to select Steam ROM Manager, which is what I did here, and then I reset config. And by doing this, it did seem to to fix it again I couldn't open the parser before but now with this method I'm able to open the parser now again if I open it up you're going to see it's going to look different than it did previously and that's what this config does now by doing this we're able to hit next and you'll see you get a chance to choose which emulator that you want but we're not going to do that right now so next you want to actually just go to the start here and you want to search for the emulators that you install now people say you don't have to do this but i like to manually open up the emulator that i installed and configure myself so again read you next i just open it up here and i just open up the uh, actions to install the product key here this is where i'm installing the product key and you need this to work next you're going to need to install the firmware so again go to actions here install firmware and again guys i can't tell you guys where to download this just search on google firmware and product keys for switch emulators and you should be able to see this again here i am installing the firmware and you need this to actually work and run games so next this is just the playstation 3 emulator i'm just going to manually install the firmware as well and i'm going to show you guys this folder to go and put all this stuff in if you just want to like emmy deck do it so as you can see here if you go to home in dolphin go to emulation and again this is newly installed go to bios you should be able to see your ps3 bios here to where you can install the firmware if you need to yourself put in that folder but this is what the switch emulator looks like when you go to bios with region x you can just put your product key in the bios now if you go to roms here this is where you want to put your games they have folders for all the emulator so you just choose the one that you installed 
Again, you have the PS3 folder there, and then you have the Nintendo Switch folder there. And these are the two emulators that install. So if you want the game to load up to Steam, here's where you'll put the games, your ROMs. So just drag and drop your ROMs into that folder. Next, I'm just gonna config the controllers. So, so I'm just gonna go to settings here. I'm gonna go to input. I'm going to switch player to handheld and input device to Steam Virtual Gamepad here. And I'm just gonna hit apply and hit okay. And that should get you going if you go to the desktop mode to play your Switch emulator. For the PlayStation 3 emulator, same thing. Just go to, imp go to config, go to input here. And then you wanna choose either DualShock 3, DualShock 4. Uh, just pick DualShock 4, hit save. You should be able to use your device game controller in gaming mode. So as you can see here next, we just want to open up Deck again, and then we want to go to Steam ROM Manager here. And this is how we actually get the games now on Steam to where we can play in gaming mode. So it's going to take a sweet time here to open up. Next, you just want to hit next here. Next, you have the option now to choose which emulator you want the games to show up on. So I have my PS3 emulator here and my Switch region next emulator. I'm going to go to art games. I'm going to go to parse it. Again, I don't have any PS3 games in my ROMs folder, but I do have Pokemon in my Switch ROM folder here. So all I have to do is save to Steam. You'll see that pop up done. That means now it has saved to Steam. So I can just close everything out here i can go back to gaming mode and i should be able to play my switch games in gaming mode i feel it's, it's that easy to pretty much set up emulation for your steam os device as you can see here this is pokemon a now non-steam game and i'm good to go i feel it's, that's all i have for you guys let me know if you found this video helpful appreciate you guys we'll catch you guys in the next one till next time peace out